I'm going to show you how do you add additional font icons to your Shopify theme. Now the free themes that Shopify offers, they do have their own set of icons like we see in the upper right hand corner here and down below in the footer. However, the available icons are, are limited in what you have. What I'm going to show you is how do you import your own font icon library and use those fonts. Now the library that we're going to use is called Font Awesome. It's a pretty popular font library. It has a lot of different fonts. If you go up into the icons here, click on that link, you'll see we have a lot of icons. If you click on the free only, there is a pro version that you can pay for, but if you click on the free on the left hand side here, you'll see all of the different icons that you have available to you. What I'm going to do, and even more than this, if you load more icons, many more will show up. We're going to import this into our Shopify theme so we have access to every single one of these icons. Now, how do you do that? First thing that you'll want to do is we're going to reach out to what's called a CDN, Font Awesome CDN. And what CDNs are, are basically, well, maybe we'll choose a different one besides this Bootstrap CDN. Let's do the CDN JS right here, the second link in our search here. What this allows us to do is it allows us to point to this library. So someone here, this website, is hosting that library for us, and we can just point to it by going to this URL. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little middle icon right here, this middle icon. What that's going to do is it's going to copy this URL. And if we go into our Shopify theme files, I'm going to click into debut, edit code. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to open up our theme liquid file. So go into layout theme liquid file. Where do we want to paste this code? Let's paste it somewhere in our head. Let's do it right after this, right after these other links here. Control paste. Now it's a pretty long piece of code. That's okay. Don't worry too much about that. But we are now pointing to the library, control S to save it. Now let's test this out. Let's go and grab any icon. We're going to click on one. And you'll see here, if I click in this piece of code, it's going to copy that code. And that way I can paste it. So I'm just going to click on this to copy this HTML code right here. And let's go find where we can use this icon. I'm going to open up my sections here. Maybe I'll go, we'll go into the footer. Let's click on the footer here. Because we see that we have an icon down below here. Maybe we want, we want to add more icons. Maybe we want to add some payment icons. So we scroll all the way down, right around line 300 or, or 320. I'm just within this div, I'm just going to paste it in there. It doesn't really matter where we paste it in. We just want to see that it's working. Paste in my code, save it, refresh the page. Oh, that might be the wrong spot. Let me go and grab a different spot. And we see social icons, maybe in here. This might be better. Social icons. Paste it, save it. We're still not seeing it. I don't think we have, let me try a different spot right here. Powered by Soul Social Icons. I don't know if this will show it to us. Here we go, it's gotta be down this one. This last one right here. There you go. 
So I have to fiddle around a little bit. Maybe let's let's go and find where this is. Maybe we'll find where that one is. Again, it doesn't really matter where you put it. But it would be nice to just see if we can get the icon right there. Let me right click and inspect here. This is social link. UL right here is a list. Social icons link. Social icons link is up top here. Ah, it should have worked right here. Let me paste that in again one more time. Hmm. In any case, it shouldn't matter where you put it. What matters is, do we have access to the icon? And it looks like we do down below here. And this is where you can use styling, use CSS to make it larger, make it smaller. Let's go and just grab another icon. Maybe this Apple icon. Copy that. Press enter, paste it in right here, refresh. And there we go. We have our icons. You now have the ability to use any of the icons, any of the free icons that we have right here. And there are plenty of them. All right, up to 1600 icons. That's how you add an icon library to your Shopify theme using a CDN. Hello everyone. If you've enjoyed this video and are interested in learning more, head on over to universatheme.com. It's a full blown course that teaches you how to customize your Shopify themes, whether you're a store owner or a developer. We'll show you how to build a navigation menus, how to filter your collection pages, how to customize your cart page, and so much more. You'll see you have a full-blown curriculum shown right here of what lessons are already there. So sign up today to become a Shopify theme pro.